Right, we've got a lot of moving around to do today. We've got the last of the Centurion ARV to clean off tracks. We've swapped the majority of the road wheels. Jack's was washing the last ones now. And then we've got the tracks just to wash the other side and a bit to go over this side. A few of these holes need just blowing out. And then we need to try and get that down. And then we need to get the Centurion ARV out of there. And then wash the 432 out, put that in, paint it, get the road wheels for the 4005 on and fitted and then lower that to the ground and then pull that out and then I want to put that in there temporary and then we need to get this back in for painting ready to go to America. You mean landscapers? You know what I mean. You imbecile. Or a set say imbecile. You imbecile. You imbecile. Right. Or just easy peasy would have been better, Jack. Oh, I'm sorry. You're going to have to bleep me out again. The editor will have to earn his money. Yeah, I'll have to. Yeah, I'll have to earn my money hard every time you've spoken. Yeah, I'll have to earn my money hard every time you've spoken. Six words. Oh. Yeah, I'll have to earn my money hard every time you've spoken. Six words. Yeah, I'll have to earn my money hard every time you've spoken. Six words. Because seven of the six words are swear words. It's terrible. Didn't swear that time, see? You censored yourself, well done. Getting good at this. You're not. We've been doing this over a year and you're not getting better at not swearing. Definitely. Definitely. Not swearing. Not getting better at not swearing. I've been trying. I think he's getting worse. Hard, thanks. I think he's getting worse. My language is better said. It is English language, not that clever he's been. Train. <laughs> the full choo choo. When you open his mouth, all it is is just the Thomas the Tank steam. Engine theme tune. <laughs> the steam comes out. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, pick one, then I'll put the opposite one on. That'd be, that'd be really That's handy. what I was picking. That's not even the opposite one, Jack. Nice one, on. Jack. Nice one. There you go. Thank you. Washing the underside of the Avery and the track links took a lot longer than expected. So the next day, we set about getting it off the blocks. This was a little bit sketchy. No. <laughs> There's more weight on that. <laughs> there was a lot more weight on that. <laughs> safe, safe, safe. Using a bottle jack, we jack the tank up to get the huge block of wood, shall we say, out the front, and we put road sleepers underneath the tracks. What you saw in the first video was just pulling the jack out from under it with the strap. Now it's my job to drive it off the wooden blocks. And I start by going backwards to get the front down, and when the front's down, I can put blocks of wood under the back to drive up onto the blocks to lift the weight off the block at the back of the tank to then pull that out with a strap, and then to drive onto the concrete. Simple.
Next job was to get the Centurion recovery tank out the workshop. Oh, I can mend anything, me. Tell you what, it's quiet for a meteor, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> Is it running? It's flooded it now. It's easier to prime it with the starter. Yeah, it yeah. is, yeah. A lot more reliable. It's getting close. <laughs> Neutral it round now. It'll be easier. Running a creep. 
Yeah, that's running great. That's going to be great fun at Welland. That sounds exactly the same as Mike's. It's running on like a V6. It's it sounds awful. So quite obvious while it was down on power, only having one carburetor running the whole engine, so it's basically half the horsepower it should be. So I'll have to take that to bits and clean that up. Oi, where's your paint mask? Sure, I'm only doing a quick little bit. Done. You'll drop dead by the age oh, of 95. You'll be dead soon. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they were saying the other day um, about people uh, drinking out of lead pipes and how it can kill you. And I said, yeah, well, 
my gran had been drinking out of lead pipes, our house has been on lead pipes, and she died at the age of 97. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, but it was, the lead, it was the lead still that killed, killed her. her. Yeah, yeah, of course it was. It was only the lead pipe I swung in it around the head. <laughs> So we've got the ram back from bonding and reline for the cat 215 look how mint it looks so the chrome rod was absolutely well rusty as hell had lost all the chrome so i mean i can't see it yet but apparently they've put new chrome on it new bunks look at this new seals so we're gonna go slap that on the cat now and see if that cures it what's that pin like the poo's on fire. Now they're not so easy job. Getting out there and get the pin in. It's all very clean. Well, it looks like we've got it pretty much in the right place straight away, that was easy. Well, Alan's got the not so easy job of knocking the pin in now. That's a bit of a face. I think you've got grease in the eye. It looks like it's going, look. It is going. The pin. Oh. I think he must be pretty impressed with that. Send it home. a bit too easy. Something terrible is going to happen. This ain't cold and windy today. Could be worse. I think they've probably got the cat yellow wrong in the paint. gonna get grease ever again. Alright, see if the old girl fire up. The book the bucket was very gently fitted neatly into the back of that ARV over there. I'm just gonna apply some gentle heat. Yeah? She is heating. This hasn't started in a day or two, has it? No, no, I bet Phil might have run back a bit. No, it's a cat. There's not a lot in it. Try it. Straight away. Gonna have no oil in the 
Work it! You see, last time, I couldn't go that high. Because you'd be pissing oil out by now. Oh! Look at that shiny new chrome. First time in 30 years. I just need to do the other three rams and it's practically a rebuild. Got some, got some height, do not it? Be good when we've got the demo grab on it. What a babe. Look at it, no leaks. Beautiful. Oh, you can paint it all. Another thing for you to paint. I'm going to stick a turbo on it though, yeah? yeah. Well, we'll be in in a second. Yeah, we'll come in in a second. The next morning, our local Snap-on dealer turned up. <laughs> we thought we'd buy some quality American tools. America's problem is let China in. It's... Where's your safety glasses? Oh. You only have one set of eyes. While you're here, yeah. just hold these bars straight while I tighten Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not easy on your own. Ooh. Where's your safety knee pads? Uh, no, safety knee pads are in the shelves. I had to um, space them out slightly with some washers because uh, it was cut slightly too short. Ah, oh, yes. Very, very professional. For all those wondering, this is Dad's gate 
because he's put a fence up in the garden to stop his new pup going out on the road. In true farmer fashion, yeah. fire. In true farmer fashion, he's found a gate in the scrapyard and he's uh, um, adapting it to fit. You can't just. Uh, that was not me. Now that would have been dabbed with a stick welder, what a legend. Very nice. Jack will be painting it next. It's time to go and liberate the cat digger bucket. Weapon choices to Rio. Dragged back to life. Hmm. But what we've come here for is the ditching bucket that I left behind. That could be a real pain in the ass to get to across this marshland where the digger was abandoned. So I've decided that the driest route is up through these brambles up to the bucket. It's all flooded over there where the digger was. I've already ripped my legs to pieces going through it once, so I'm gonna stand here so he knows whereabouts we're going in and try and miss all this concrete so we don't rip the air tank off. That'd be terrible. Full up! It's quite wet. Quite wet. No. <laughs> mm. Perhaps wetter than I thought. Maybe we need to find another way. Yeah. Let's uh, let's let's look for another route. Third time lucky. Yeah, no chance of getting through all of that. <laughs> Bugger. One life limit approach. Here we go, here we go. Watch this. Oh, yeah. That's how you drive a Rio. It's like you've stolen it. Straight through, no bother. That's more like it. Yeah, that looks good. I think it's fairly dry. Should probably get a bit closer. Yeah, it's all good down here. Get over a bit, Sammy. It'd be terrible if you hit that tree. Yeah, I wouldn't want you to hit that tree. I wouldn't want you to hit the little tree. Don't hit the tree. That'd be terrible. Okay. Oh, thank God he's not going to hit the tree.
Is that down? I'm sure it'll fall back up and be fine. Oh, there's a hole there. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it, that. Ow. 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 It's a mud boot. That bucket's looking cheap. Oh yeah, we're all ratchet strapped up nice and safe. What could possibly go wrong? Is that in? Jack's having a Chinese, and Lucy doesn't know that he's having a Chinese. Jack's going to get into a lot of trouble. You walked straight into that one. Yeah, that was your fault. Mm. <laughs> so, like, just making sure that everyone here is having Chinese. Yours is the most British, Adam. <laughs> just chicken nuggets and chips. <laughs> I've got a, a duck that's definitely been ran over by a DPD driver. Mmm, silver bits. I was hoping to get all the interior back together in that 432 so it's finished out of the way. Uh, back door needs painting as well. Um, but sadly, not got round to doing it. So there'll be, well, it'll be finished, I'm sure, in the next video. Oh, I'm good at this. And hopefully, tomorrow, oh, that was, that was pathetic. I've got some special guests coming. So, thank you all for watching, we'll see you again.